Welcome to Copy with Biking. I am Mike. Cheers. Where Numbers Gets Its Name. The book starts with a census and it ends with another census 40 years later as the Israelites left Mount Sinai to continue their long trip home. Moses wanted to know how many men were available to fight the battles they would face. He repeated the census after the Israelites had served their 40 year sentence in the Badlands. The main point of numbers, God punishes sin and it, and it God punishes sin, it's a fact he dramatically illustrates when he sentences the Israelites to forty years in the Badlands, punishment for failing to trust and obey him. The writer <clears throat> the book doesn't identify the writer. Ancient Jewish and Christian tradition points to Moses which I actually do believe the first five were written by Moses or maybe spoken of by Moses and written by Aaron. I don't know. But many Bible experts today say ancient Jewish leaders compiled Genesis through Deuteronomy from a variety of sources. Moses may have provided material for at least some of those sources, but it would have been out of character for him to write that he was more humble than any other person on earth. Numbers 12, 3. Now the man Moses was very meek above all the men which were upon the face of the earth. And if you remember, I believe it was Exodus when we found out that God had called Moses and he said that he is not a good speaker, that he appointed Aaron to help him to be his, to be his voice, to speak for him. So, and as meek as Moses was, Aaron could have been the one who wrote this down while... Moses was talking to him or it could have been as it said here it could have been written years later by other people but I do know that Aaron was Moses's voice but I also know that he as meek as he was he did become a bit more assertive not like super assertive but it's like God's spirit was making him a better leader. So whoever wrote this, I don't know. But I believe it was either Moses or Moses spake to Aaron in private and he could have wrote it. The date, about 1400 BC or 200 years later, The location, the story starts in the rugged Sinai Peninsula in what is now Egypt, south of Israel. It ends in a country called Moab in what is now Jordan. Now, Israel sentence for 40 years. This should be the story of the Israelite, Israelites marching back into their homeland. But it's the story of them marching to the border 
and then waiting for an entire generation of Israelites to die off. They'd been camped at the foot of Mount Sinai for nearly a year. Finally, Moses tells them to break camp. They trudge north towards Canaan, modern-day Israel, complaining as they go. Not enough water, not enough meat, and manna after all these months has become mundane. Months later, as the crowd of refugees approaches Canaan's southern border, Moses sends scouts to explore the land. They come back with a report that terrorizes the Israelites. Walls, armies, and giant and giants defend the city of, in Canaan. With that, the exodus stops. The Israelites refuse to go any farther for failing to trust God in spite of all the miracles that have been seen him, that they have seen him do for them. The Israelites are sentenced to 40 years in the Badlands. That's long enough for most of the cowardly generation to die. The Israelite homeland will wait for a new and improved generation, braver and more obedient. Sit and served, a new generation breaks camp, led by a 120-year-old Moses. He takes them east in what is now Jordan, near the banks of the Jordan River. The Israelites are finally ready and willing to reclaim the land God had, has promised them. For not trusting God, they wound up being stuck for another 40 years in the desert, in the Badlands, because they didn't trust God. They kept complaining about everything. As we have seen in Exodus and all throughout. And God had finally had enough. So he said, you're not allowed to enter for 40 years. But once that, was, once that sentence was served... They were able to go into Canaan, into the land that was promised them. Now, we have been over this subject quite a bit about God punishing us. Sometimes it is to strengthen our faith and sometimes it is a punishment we deserve. It is a scolding like a parent would give us when we do wrong. And in this case, it was that one. They were in the wrong. They showed their distrust in God and they cowered down. So God told them, you're not going in there. You're waiting 40 years and then a new generation will arise. That will be braver, stronger, and more trusting. And that's exactly what Numbers is about. It's about the numbering of those armies, the numbering of the time they were in the wilderness. And I just, I don't know if I would want to do 40 years in the desert. I think I'd rather just trust God, do as he says, and take the homeland right away, whether it's full of giants or not. Especially if I know I'm not going in alone. If I know I got hundreds of thousands with me ready to fight. And if I got God as my general, I think I'd be ready. But I'm not in that situation, so I can't say. And I can't really criticize the Israelites for the choice they made. I mean, that's between them and God. And if I was in the situation, would I have made the same choice? So I can't really criticize them for that. 
but staying strong with the Lord, trust in Him, and know that nothing will fall upon you without Him being there to help you, as long as you trust Him. Stay blessed, stay caffeinated, much love.